so I was contemplating vlogging my way back as well and I decided that I'm gonna do it because why not this way it's gonna be a lot harder right now it's midnight and our flight goes at 3 and I'm really gonna be really tired because I'm really tired right now but this is my last moment in Shiva So I just got through, um, we're still in Shiraz, we haven't left yet, but uh, our getting in here was a little bit hard because our bags are really heavy and they're really strict on rules right now. So, I mean, I got through and now I'm waiting for all our stuff and I'm really tired. We're probably gonna take off in an hour or two. I'm dying. So, we got through to our gate and now we're waiting. We're gonna take off at three. So we're probably gonna board in like 45 minutes. It's two right now. And I'll show you guys the Iranian airport. A little duty free. It has souvenirs, cute things, and it goes all the way around. There's more right here. It's not much because Shiraz is not as big of a city as like Tehran or other cities in Iran. But I'm really tired and I hope that I can sleep. That'd be cool. We are about to board the first flight. I'm already dead. So I'm sitting by the window in our first flight and we have tons of leg space. I wish this was the long flight. This is my family. It's literally four o'clock in the morning, so we're all dying. We're very squished. I took off my coverings and put my hair in a bun and I'm significantly happier, significantly less hot. We're still in Iran, but since we're in a foreign airplane, it's, um, oh, we're allowed to take off our coverings. Definitely the sunrise. <laughs> it's six o'clock in the morning. It's not focusing. Look how pretty. Look how beautiful them to ob. Look at these ships in the water. Oh my god, Istanbul is so pretty. There's so much freaking buildings though. <laughs> I'm very scared. We're going down extremely fast. Extremely fast. <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. So I just slept for like an hour lying down like my grandma, like that, on these chairs. But 
children crying and loud bangs and the annoying beeping kept waking me up and it's extremely frustrating. So now I can't go back to sleep. But I'm really fucking tired. So now I'm walking around the airport to try to get some of my tiredness out. And look, there's a big Victoria's Secret. Cute. Some angels. <laughs> I'm really tired. But we haven't even done like half of this trip, so pray for me. Now I'm getting some coffee, and as you can tell, I can't make a decision about what headphone, <laughs> what headband to wear, and it's probably gonna change a lot in this video. This is some Turkish food, and it looks really good. Oh my god, that's some pastries. Oh, sorry. And this is some more bread. There's a jewelry store in this airport, just in case you want to buy diamonds before your flight. Michael Kors. And there's a Michael Kors, just in case you need a purse. So we've been here for like three or four hours now, and we have two, three hours left, so it's not bad. We are walking to our gate. We are finally boarding onto our 13-hour flight, and we don't have time in the next airport at all, and we have a lot to do in it, so... Yeah, it's go time. It's go time, fam. It's my mom. So we just boarded, and it's really hot. And I changed my shirt, and I'm sitting by the window. And again, it's really, really freaking hot. I bought this souffle in Iran and it's really good. It's really good. So we're about to eat and I got this pasta. There's some tomatoes, some chocolate and chocolate sprinkles, and rice. This is eggplant. halfway through this flight and it is so insanely difficult like this is so hard I want to die but I hope I don't die but like I'm really sad I just want to get get off this plane really bad we still have two hours left on this flight and I'm literally close to tears I've watched a movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I've watched a documentary, I've watched a show, I've read, I've played games, and it's still not over. And I want to die. I don't ever remember this life being this difficult. So, keep me in your prayers. So they just gave us food again. And now it's more pasta, so I regret getting pasta last time. I should have got chicken and rice. Whatever. This is like a blueberry custard. It's really good. And a little salad and apple juice. Finally, after what feels like torturous, torturous hours, we are landing in Houston, people. We are landing in Houston. Oh, girl. I am literally so happy to not be in that plane anymore. You have no idea. We have two hours to go through customs and get our baggage and change terminals. And so let's see if we can get it done. Hopefully we can, because if we don't make it to the next flight, I will actually, I will actually hurt myself. <laughs> I will cry so much. Okay. Okay, so I have to finish the video here because <laughs> The end of my trip was just a tragic, tragic mess. And it has been more than a week now uh, that it's been over and I couldn't even bring myself to talk about it because it was just so tragic. So the Houston airport just in general, I've always like had really bad experiences with, like the security and just the lines and everything was terrible. And we only had two hours to do customs and everything like I told you. 
and I made it through and my mom made it through, but my cousins that we were with, um, they questioned them, they opened their bags, and it was just a hot mess. So by the end of the night, um, I was like bawling. I told you guys I would start crying. I was bawling because like I just wanted to go home. I was over, over tired. So I, um, I, I was like, mom, I don't care. I mean, I do care, but like, I don't care about you guys, them, like I need to go home. So I, cause I was uh, like, I could, I had my ticket, I have everything. So I got into the plane, like they had to reopen the door for me cause I got there so late and it was literally just me. And there was like five empty chairs around me for my family. And I was just bawling the whole flight home because I felt bad, like I wanted us all to be together. But like I also wanted to go home and the situation was just so bad. So my mom ended up staying with my cousins and stuff in Houston because they're a little bit newer to the States. So she didn't want to like leave them and just like go because that would have been bad. So they stayed and then they s slept at a hotel and woke up in the morning and came to Oklahoma City. But it was just terrible, you guys. I <laughs> Like if you c compare my going to Iran to my coming back video, it's just so different because when I was going, I had energy, I was ready, I was excited. Also, when we were going, it was in the morning, like our flight was like at one or whatever. So we slept and then we woke up and we started our journey. But when we were coming back, the flight was at three o'clock in the morning and I didn't sleep at all that day. I woke up early, like I was just super tired when we started the trip. So by the end of it, like, I, I just broke down. Like, I was dead. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching that video. Please subscribe for more. I'm sorry I didn't finish it. Like, I also tried to take a video of myself, like, in the airplane crying, and I wanted to explain it. But everybody in the airplane was already looking at me like I was crazy. So I thought it better to just explain later. <laughs> and um, that's what happened. But... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you subscribe. I hope you stick around. I have so much stuff to edit and post. Literally so much fun stuff. And yeah, thank you guys again. Goodbye.